Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and today it's time for another mystery envelope challenge with the Makers with Heart. Uh, this month it was Amanda who sent us some beautiful pieces um, of paper and I'll put the picture right here so you can see them. Um, she random stamped and colored in one sheet for us and then she gave us another one that we could color in ourselves if we would like to. She used the January stamp of the month, which is gorgeous. I just love how she colored um, the different flowers. She added some sprinkles of, it looks like some shimmer brush. Um, it looks like a little gold yellow in there. And I hope in her video, she shares how she created this um, piece of pattern paper because it is seriously so pretty. So our challenge is pretty simple. She just wanted us to use uh, the paper she included or we could create our own um, pattern paper with stamps and but I decided just to use what she gave me so I went ahead and thought um, this piece right here was like five by six or five and a half by six let's see one two three four five yes I believe it's five and a half by six um, and when I saw this piece I just thought what could I make with it? I could do a scrapbook page, but I decided to go ahead and do like a one sheet wonder. Um, so I kind of looked around for some ideas and I decided just to cut it into strips. So these are two by five and a half strips and I'm going to create three cards with them. And then I had this sitting on my desk. This is a brand new product that will be available on March 1st. It's decorative shape thin cuts, and I have been dying to get them out and try them, so I thought this would be perfect project. So I've cut some uh, leaves and flowers and different shapes from this thin cut collection. Look how cute these are, super fun little flowers. Um, in the coordinating colors, uh, which she mentioned were ballerina. Um, I did cut some in jade, but I thought it might be a little too dark. So I went and cut some with uh, sage. Bluebird was also a coordinating color and wisteria and pewter. So um, I added some grays in there too. I so did pull out some sentiment stamps from uh, my stash. These are from Craft With Heart subscription boxes. They would come with this amazing sentiment um, stamp set and so I pulled out a couple of those that might fit in the shapes that I cut out So that is a, those are the stamp sets that I'm going to be using today Okay, let's go ahead and get started For this first design, I just simply put the pattern paper on the bottom, added a little strip of a parrot, no, wisteria, um, and then added a cute some of those cute little flowers I cut from this stand, uh, thin cut right here. And they have this adorable stitching on them, and then there's also this frame type um, cut is from, from that same thin cut collection. And then I just stamped Hello Friend and added a little bit of the gold thread just to kind of go with the gold that uh, Amanda had put in um, that pattern paper. So let's move on to the next one.
This one is a little bit different. I put the strip in the center and I added that wisteria behind it on both or just did a larger um, piece behind it. Added some of that uh, gold embellishing thread and stamped with a cute little uh, notes of thanks and then added some of those little uh, adorable flowers from that thin cut across the bottom. So let's start, um, let's continue with card number three. So that is card number three. I just put that two in strip here, added a little bit of the wisteria, um, added this shape. Um, I believe I cut them out of mink. And then the big flower. Isn't that so cute? I couldn't decide if I wanted to do two or one. I just, I just went with the one. So these are the three different cards that you can create from that one five five and a half by six piece of paper. I will put the dimensions in the description of the video along with um, the supply list of, or yes, the list of supplies that I used if you would like to recreate these cards, but it's so, this pattern paper is so pretty. I don't think I could even recreate it on my own. So thank you for sending us such a fun um, mystery envelope, Amanda. Make sure you go and check out what the other ladies created with these same products. I will put a playlist in the description of the video. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. Leave, maybe leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.